Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video, I have shown you how to insert image into database. In today's video, we are going to see how to retrieve that inserted image from the database. Okay, for that, I am taking one more picture box to show you the image which we are going to retrieve and just click on this stretch image and we are going to retrieve this image with the help of ID for that I'm taking one text box here and one button okay now change the name of the button to view and design name to btn view okay uh, now started from this area you can actually insert and select and insert the image into the database if you have not seen my video then the video link in the description you can go there and check it out how to select image and how to insert into it into the database okay uh, here is one problem that we are not visible that in which area we have to click to make it that uh, I just need a rectangular shape it just drag and drop it here mm, it will shape a rectangular shape around this picture box and from that we can see in which area we have to click okay like this we put this for both this will look quite good as compared to simply plain just and now execute it here you can see that you uh, the area is defined in which you have to click okay now let's let me show you how to retrieve the image for retrieval we just need to click uh, need a click event of this view button just double click on this and let me copy the code and I will explain you what exactly it's doing first we have made a SQL connection okay and the connection string is this and how exactly this is uh, this is for your PC you can see my previous video uh, of how to insert the image into a database I have explained it there this is from the database this is the database name hello and the security is for true now we generate a SQL command object CMD and we have provided a connection this SQL connection con and after that we have uh, written a query to fetch the data select image from the image data image data is my table name in the database here you can see that image data okay and select image from image data where id is equal to text box 2 uh, let me show you how this query is exactly working i have put a here break mark like i have inserted 301 and view now it's come here and stop here you can see that how actually query is generated from this select image from image data where id is equal to 301 okay how this is working here you can see that the text box 2 data is here and merge it with this query after that sql adapter and just stop it and sql adapter or we have created object for that and provided the command here and after that we have data set is used to store the data which is retrieved from the database and we uh, uh, if your query is executed successfully and the data is in the database then data uh, set is filled with that data and this if statement is written here to check that if data set is empty if there is no data we have uh, like uh, we have these number of iris in the, our databases and if someone enters out of this like 501 and 5010 for which image is not in the database then the data set will be empty for for that we are actually checking that if the database data set is empty in that moment then show that no image for that index box else we need to convert this byte code image in the byte format is convert into the memory stream and this i have put it that image into the picture box to image 
is equal to new bitmap dot ms now let me show how it works for the how data set will be seen when you enter a ID which is not available in the database like I have entering 301 this ID is available in the database and click on view and here you can see that in the data set let me check it out uh, here the data is available okay image data okay let me execute this for another which is not available in the database now click on view and let's check the data set what is available in the data set this is actually breakpoint program go and stop there here you can see that there is no data okay so just remove this breakpoint and execute it no image of that index now execute 301 and here you can see that the image is here for similarly 4101 4102 the image in the database now let me show you from the start select all files images I'm going to insert mm, something different let's search for I'm going to insert this flower okay okay uh, and I'm going to put an ID 501 let's check for 501 is there any images available no no images in this available now save this for 501 data is saved now the 501 and click view here you can see that the uh, image you have inserted is retrieved from this database okay that's it for the today video please like subscribe and share and please don't forget to subscribe and put your valuable comments in your comment section and how to insert image into database this uh, video link is in the description you can check it out there and please keep supporting us thank you